I'll be showing nine new features in Word. This includes both desktop and the web, so let's get started. The first new feature is in Word Desktop, and it is that you can now share a document with the Review Changes settings. So in the upper right, I'm gonna choose Share, and we'll go Share. Now by default, it's gonna say anyone with this link can edit. If I drop down the pencil icon here, there is this new Can Review. And that means when someone else opens the document, it'll automatically put on track changes just for them, and it'll let them make comments, but they can't hard edit the document. So I'll choose Can Review, and now it changes here. Anyone with the link can review, and if you hover, it says, in review mode, people can only leave comments and suggest changes. So right here, I'm just gonna go and say copy link, and now I've got a shareable link, and I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna go into the web and show what this looks like if someone else opens up this document link. Now I've opened up this link as Alex, someone else, and look here, it says, oh, it's in reviewing mode, and it explains what that means. I'll hit okay. And so now if I go down here and I start typing, you can see I've added this right here, but it's not hard editing the document. This is actually track changes mode turned on for me. So I'm just in reviewer mode. And right here it says reviewing at the top. Now if I go back and I switch to the original person, Kara, who had the document, you'll see that that track changes is right there. Let's switch over to Kara. Now I'm back in as Kara, and you can see right here, these are the track changes, and these are tracked for just Alex. I can go up here and choose to accept or reject them, but if I wanna go and reject, I'm just gonna say, you know, reject all changes. Alex's changes go away because he doesn't have hard editing rights. He can only add track changes for him. He can also leave comments as well. Oh, and hey, look at this. A comment just popped up from Alex. He said this part is terrible. The second new feature is leaving tasks. So right here, there's a comment from Alex. Now I'm Kara. I'm gonna go and add mention Alex, and I'm gonna say, why don't you make it better? And I will click assign to Alex Wilbur. And this is gonna assign him a task in the Word document. So I'm gonna click send, and now Alex has a task assigned to him, and it says assign to Alex Wilbur. So when he finishes that, he can check it off and say that he's done. The third new feature is also with commenting, and if I hit the three dot menu here, I can choose link to comment. So if I wanna send someone a link directly to this comment, I click this, and it will generate a share link. So if I click copy, now I can go and mail this link to anyone, and it will open up that document right at that part where the comment was. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna paste that link in the browser and hit enter, and it pulls up Word and it takes me right to this comment that I just pasted the link for. So it's really easy if you wanna pinpoint exactly where the comment was, hey, click this link, you can send it mail, you can put it in a browser, and it'll link them right to the comment that you're talking about in your Word document. The fourth new feature is 25 new languages for dictation in Word desktop and the web. On the Home tab, I'm gonna click Dictate here, and we'll turn that off for now, and I'm gonna click the Settings button. And under Spoken Language, if you drop this down, you're gonna see a bunch of new languages under Preview Languages. There's about 25. I'm not gonna cover every single one, but there's a link in the description where I have all of the different languages. There's a blog entry that covers them, but now you can dictate in many more languages in Word. The fifth new feature improves search in desktop Word. Right now I have a big document and I wanna search for different things. Historically, if on the Home tab I go to Find, when I search for things, it always does an exact match. In this case, I'm gonna look for USA, and there can be lots of different flavors of that. I'll go and click search, and not only did it find USA, it found U period, S period, A period, it found United States, it found United States of America. It found a bunch of different examples of the same thing that's spelled a little bit differently. I'll also give an example of technician. Now I also have a misspelling over here, but if I do search, it's gonna find both. So it found technician, and it also found the misspelling of technician. So there's many examples where search is a bit smarter, more like we search on the web. The sixth new feature is support for formatting in comments in Word for the web. This is already supported in desktop, but now if I'm gonna go here and add some text. I will come in on a Saturday, and I'm gonna bold that, and I'm gonna go here, make this better, and I'm going to highlight this. So we'll go to the Home tab and choose Highlight. And for Office Space fans, hopefully you will get the reference on coming in on a Saturday. But as you can see, now I can do things like bold and highlight and underline and other types of formatting right there in the comments for extra emphasis. The seventh new feature lets you add comments really easily in Word for the Web. So if I select a chunk of text in Word for the Web, there's a new little widget that appears right here to add a comment. And I just click it and it's inline, now I can add my comment. And I really do love the Office Space, great movie. 
So very quick and easy to add comments anywhere and they also show up in line right there so people looking at the document can quickly find those comments. The eighth new feature is pinch to zoom support in Word for the Web. So I have a laptop that supports touch here and I want to zoom in on this TPS report. I'm just going to use my fingers and do the old pinch to zoom and I can zoom way in, I can scroll over, I can zoom out and I can zoom back in right on Bill's head. The ninth new feature works in Word for the web or desktop. That's the ability to search across any of the menu choices when you right click. So I'm going to right click on a word here and you can see this is a new search the menus box. So if I type editor for example, it'll find editor instantly. If I click here, I open up editor on the right hand side and this works for any menu item. So I can right click and type in anything. If I want immersive reader, hey there it is. I just click it and it launches the immersive reader. This also works in Word desktop. Right click on a word, search the menus, same thing. If I type in editor, there we go. So it's very easy to use and find any menu choice you're looking for when you just right click. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.